Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create payroll fields to hold paycheck data. Payroll fields can hold either flat rate amounts or calculated amounts. A flat rate payroll field would collect the same amount from every paycheck. A calculated payroll field uses a formula to calculate the amount to collect from a paycheck. Payroll fields can affect all employee paychecks or only selected employee paychecks. However, in order to use a payroll field within any paycheck, you will need to create the field within the employee defaults window first. If the field will only be used by a few employees, you will then have to update the specific employee payroll fields for the selected employees within the individual maintain employee sales reps window to indicate the proper payroll field settings for the selected employees. A calculated payroll field is one that uses a formula to derive its value. These formulas may also refer to the tax tables stored in Peachtree to derive their necessary values. There are two sets of payroll tax formulas needed for federal and state payroll taxes in one set of tables. Now if you select File from the menu bar, roll down to Payroll Formulas, and then choose Peachtree Maintained, you will be able to access these tax payroll fields. These fields are updated by Peachtree and are shared by all company files within Peachtree. You cannot access this table without a current subscription to the Peachtree Tax Update service. If you select File from the menu bar, roll down to Payroll Formulas, and then choose User Maintained within Peachtree, you will view the company tax formulas that are available. This is the second payroll tax table available for use. Company taxes are taxes that are specific to your company, like state unemployment insurance or union dues. You can use and update the company tax tables yourself by creating custom formulas for use within custom calculated payroll fields that you set up in the Employee Defaults window. For users who do not subscribe to the Peachtree Tax Update service, all of your payroll formulas must be created within this tax table. You can use the Company Tax Table window to set up payroll field formulas. The purpose of the payroll field formula that you create could include, but is not limited to, purposes such as calculating garnishments, collecting union dues, or collecting local income taxes. In this window, you can see calculated company taxes, additions, or accruals that were created during the payroll setup wizard, like 401k and vacation and sick time tracking. You can add new payroll field formulas to this list. Now to create a new formula, first enter a tax, deduction, or accrual ID into the formula ID field. This formula ID can be up to 8 characters in length. Next you must enter a name for the formula into the name field. You do this by entering the name of the formula followed by a required space and then the two digit payroll year, for example 09 or 10 or 11 and then just click the adjacent guidelines for creating a name hyperlink to view the help file on this topic if needed. Now Peachtree uses the formula name to associate a payroll formula with a payroll field when you later create the payroll field within either the employee fields or the company fields tabs in the employee defaults window. The name defines what will appear in the formula column within the employee fields tab or the company fields tab. Next, select the impact that this formula is to have on the gross pay by selecting a choice from the Effect on Gross Pay drop-down. You can then select a filing status that this should affect from the Filing Status drop-down. If the formula is to be used for all employees regardless of their filing status, then select All. Next, use the How do you classify this formula drop-down to select the type of formula that you're creating. If you select Tax, then you can use the Tax Agency drop-down to select the specified taxing agency. For state and local taxes, you'll then have to further refine your selection using the drop-downs that appear for those specific choices. You can check the Use this formula as a filter on the Payroll Tax Report checkbox to allow this formula to appear within the Payroll Tax Report menu or to have the payroll field that uses this formula appear on the exception report.
Note that you should only choose this option when the taxable gross identifier appears in the formula on the left side of the equation. That is because the payroll tax report lists taxable gross figures based on the formula entered for each tax. So the term taxable gross must appear within the formula. Next, enter the actual payroll formula calculation into the formula text box. Finally, click the Save button to save the payroll formula. Once you've created the formula, you can then click the Next Step hyperlink in order to open the Employee Defaults window where you can create the calculated payroll field that uses the payroll formula that you just created. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.